Shalom. What I've been reading today on YouTube are a lot of people are feeling dread, anxiety, stress, and distress over the current events. And that's normal. But what is not normal is what's going on worldwide. And that's a normal reaction to abnormal activity in the earth. We are feeling defensive. We're feeling like we need to put our defenses up. And we're also feeling that there is something dreadfully wrong. Well, I'll tell you what's wrong. It's what's always been wrong. It's sin. Sin has caused all the problems that we see. And if you don't believe it, look at the source of what's behind all the iniquity. The love of money, which is the root of all evil. That's why judgments are not fair. And that's why things are happening the way they are. So, I'm going to get some scriptures and I'm going to put them up here underneath so that you can see that this is an age-old problem. And there's only one solution and that is knowing God and knowing His Word and hiding it in your heart to be conformed into His image and likeness and to fight against evil by the blood and by the word and by redemption through water baptism is your first step of obedience. You cannot do great exploits for God if you cannot obey what He has told us to do, which is repent and be baptized. And then from there, you can do great things. You can overcome evil with good. You can overcome the enemy by your faith. You can submit to God. And because you submit to God, you can resist the devil and he will flee from you. But you have to know his word. Now if God came down and he gave us his in-person presence in his word, it's up to you. It behooves you to learn that word and to know that word and apply it in your life. Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. That's all I want to do today on the Sabbath day where I'm resting. And have a blessed day, everybody. And remember what the scripture says is thou will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee. And you overcome the world by your faith. And you don't know who to have faith in until you read and until you know the word. And he came and he gave us his presence in this world. He gave us his words, words of power. And by his word, we know him. So I, I encourage everybody, if you don't have a Bible, go on blueletterbible.org and I would suggest reading the he, HMV version. Um, anyway, his word is intact in the HMV. Have a blessed day, everyone. Shalom.